don't see the yellow mortuary. Eh? We're already on. Hello, good afternoon. We are now live at the old OGTV Broadcasting Hall. That is the venue of the MSME Clinic's Ogun Fashion Hub. This is where we are awaiting the arrival of the Vice President, Senator Kashim Shetima, to declare open the Ogun Fashion Hub. And this is a second expanded national MSME clinics in Abiokuta. The first edition was declared open sometime in January 2024 in Makodi, Benue State. This is to promote a thriving MSME environment in the country. The Vice President, Senator Kashim Shatima, has been to Asheru, the Adira Facility Hub, to commission the place. And now we are awaiting his arrival here at the old OGCV Broadcasting Hall, venue of the MSME Clinics Ogun Fashion Hub. We shall stay with Ogun State Television as we bring you bit by bit event as it happens here. We are live and don't forget, you can join us on our Twitter, Instagram. We are also live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. You can also watch us live on 260 on DSTV and 131 on GoTV, 25 UHF for terrestrial viewers. Stay with us, we'll be bringing you bit by bit events.
We want to welcome our royal fathers to Ogo Fashion Hall here on Ajiba Road, old OGTV studio. We want to welcome the head of service. The head of service of Ogo State. Mr. Kolawale Peter Fagbo, thank you so much for being here. And members of the body of foreign secretaries that are here with him, all our royal fathers, we are glad to have you. The representative of the Olu and the paramount ruler of Yewa land, of uh, Kenyide Olubele, is the Olu of Imashai of Alukmon Koye. KBSA, you are most welcome. The Honorable Commissioner for Industry, Trade and Investment, Mr. Adebola Shofela, thank you so much for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome the APC Chairman in Ogo State. Chief Yemi Sanusi, thank you so much for being here. I recognize the presence of former deputy governors that are coming in. His Excellency Senator Shefi Wadek Bingakaka, a former deputy governor, thank you so much for being here. A former deputy governor, His Excellency, Excellency Elijah Salimont Makonjuala Badru, thank you so much for being here. Our Excellency Chief Mrs. Yetunde Ononuga, our former Deputy Governor, thank you so much for being here. A member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Joseph Adegbeson, thank you so much. We are glad to have you at the Ogo State Fashion Hub here on OGTV. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I also recognize the presence of the executive chairman of the local government across Ogun State that are here with us. Particular recognition to the chairman of Algon in Ogun State, who also is the chairman of the Ode local government, Alahaji Babatunde Milola Gazal. Thank you so much for being here. Other local government chairmen, we are glad to have you. Please let us listen to this announcement. As soon as His Excellency the Vice President arrives, it will go straight to the commissioning and the inspection of the fashion hall. While he is doing that, all our special guests here are expected to proceed to their various vehicles. You are expected to have been seated at the cultural center before his Excellency will arrive there. Because once he's there ahead of you, you may not have the opportunity of accessing the cultural center again. So as soon as His Excellency arrives, commissioning the project, please proceed to your vehicles. You are expected to be inside of the cultural center before his arrival to that venue. Once he's there ahead of you, you may not have the opportunity of accessing the cultural center. Thank you very much. As earlier announced, OGTV has a presence on all social media handles, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. You can connect and stream live for you to enjoy this program.
We are also on Go TV channel 131, Star Times channels 113, and DSTV channel 260. Here we are live to commission the Ogo Fashion Hub as put together by the MSME clinics and the place is situated at Old OGTV Broadcasting Hall. OGTV Abel Okota. I recognize the chairman of Yewa Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines, and Agriculture, and also the Chairman Managing Director of Wasi Creation, an internationally recognized fashion designing industry, Otumba Wasi Utaiwo, who is also here with us this beautiful afternoon. Thank you so much, sir. You're most welcome. Recognize the presence of the OCA of Egbaland, Honorable Chief Bode Mustafa. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Special advisors to His Excellency that are here, we are glad to have you. Special advisor on security matters, AIG Olushola Suba retired. Thank you so much for being here. Consultant to the Governor on Security Matters, CP Edward Awulawa Jogun retired. Thank you so much for being here. The Corps Commander, the Corps Commander and the CEO of Trace, Apache Sheni Ogunyemi. Thank you so much, sir, for being part of today's event.
Deputy Governors, members of the Federal House of Representatives, the Head of Service of Ogun State, the Party Chairman, our Royal Fathers, and Local Government Chairman. As earlier announced, once His Excellency is handling the commissioning and the inspection, we are expected to march straight to our vehicles and go straight to the cultural centre. Because once he is there ahead of us, we may not be able to access the venue. Shall we please rise and stand on our feet to welcome our special guests on this occasion? Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing the arrival of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Senator Kashim Shetima, in company of the Governor of the State, His Excellency Prince, equally distinguished senators representing the people of Ogun State, of Ogun Central and Ogun West, Honorable Minister for Finance of the I welcome Senator Adeola Solomon the Chairman Senate Committee on Appropriation and the Distinguished to Ogun Fashion Hall and the old OGTV Broadcasting Hall. The Afolabi Shwaib, you're most welcome.
Excellent uh, Senator Kashim Setima, you are most welcome to Ogun State. He's exchanging pleasantries to the head of service, member of the of the Federal of Representatives, a former deputy governor, royal Palace, high chief of a balance. We also want to welcome and the paramount ruler of a balance, Dr. Michael Edomarebo, a commander of the Federal Republic, Okuke, Count BAC, you're most welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing His Excellency Senator Kasim Shetima to unveil the plaque. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Kashim Shatima GCON, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to another one of your investments in the medium scale. Um, enterprises in Nigeria, this particular one in the state. This is the MSME uh, clinic, the Ogu Fashion Hub. Your Excellency, what you have done by providing us with the array of equipment cannot even be expressed in words. You will see for yourself this dream that you have actualized by empowering Ogo State indigenous and particularly our youth doing pretty well that we are the education capital of Nigeria, meaning that we are nurturing more students in Ogo State than any other state. And use this shared facility. Uh, in the fashion industry. Gives me a pleasure to get to work me once more. And thank you most profoundly on behalf of the entire people and government of the state. I now invite you to unveil this plaque. Where are our, our ministers, ministers and all that? Uh, okay. I'm privileged to unveil this MSME clinics of one passion of for the good of our people and for service to humanity. Okay, let me just stand beside you. I 
In two minutes, he can do at least 2,000 stitches. So this, this write-up, at this, say, 1,000 of them can be produced in a day from this machines at top speed. And of, on each machine, 1,000 of this write-up, this MSME clinic, can be produced at least in a day. You know, they are top speed. You know, a lot of fashion designers can't afford them, so they can always come here to make use of them. <laughs> so this is also for monogramming. But this is four head. That one is two head. This one is four head. So this works faster than the one we have checked. Now. Hello. Okay. So these are printed machines for branding. So we made this here this morning. This, this look, these pictures can be made. Say 400, 400 of these can be made in a day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is very fast and very neat. So after printing here, we press it here. These are industrial pressers. Make it make the work very fast instead of using pressing irons. Yes, we can. Well, it depends on the size we want to make because we want we have more than um, one picture. That's why we just made this size. It can be it can be in any size. That's the press. Thank you. 
Yeah, welcome back home. His Excellency Governor Dapuabiamo, thank you so much. The single senator Solomon Alamileko and the Alamile Kelani. The single senator Solomon thank you so much. Mr. Wale Ekoa, the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Nigeria Economy. Thank God. To your industry. We thank God. We thank God that this is happening to us. Are you going <laughs> we thank God. We thank God that the Vice President realizes that this industry is so important because it's one of those three items that any woman being need in life to survive or to succeed. 
And those are three things. It's uh, shelter, food, and clothing. I thank God that they are now realizing that clothing is so important for us. And by the grace of God, he has come to donate some of the machine for us for training. But it goes beyond that. We are just talking about one aspect of the value chain of the fashion industry. The first value chain, I mean, the first in the chains is supporting the cotton farmers to grow cotton. After growing, growing cotton, then we now have a machine that we process the cotton to yarn. From there, the garment, the textile industry, we now take it up and make it a fabric. From there, the garment we now use, make it to make a finished product. <laughs> you can see the four, the four value chain is so huge <laughs> that if it's, if it's taken care of in Nigeria, <laughs> it will give us a lot of foreign exchange and generate massive employment for Nigeria. So I thank God they are realizing that, and I believe they are start doing something about it. Tell us about the equipment that is installed. The equipment we have only about four or five uh, different uh, equipment here, yeah. which is just is not even ten percent of the equipment that a proper garment industry is needed to really. Make. I don't want to go into details because we have only four, four or five. You know, one, two, three, four professional machines, that's what we have here. They are in large numbers, but they have they have a limit of what they can do. It is, it is a very good starting point. And we want to thank the Vice President for this gesture. God bless you.